dog. I have a slip lead up here around the dog's neck and their regular flat collar. I also have my Dogcha 1902 on her, but I'm not gonna use the e-collar in the session, maybe, unless she gets that far. Um, it's important to have two leads here. So I have one that's gonna pull her this way and I'm gonna attach another one to her flat collar here that's gonna tug her the other way. I have a check cord attached to a post and I like to use the woe post for this session. And then I need to put a half hitch around the dog's waist. So if you don't know how to do that, you take the lead or the rope, the check cord, put it under the dog's waist, pull both sides up, and the part with the snap will go behind the other rope and then attach to her collar. So once I have that attached, I have the half hitch, or some people call it a suitcase handle. I can pick the dog up. Good girl, yeah. Now I'll walk her to the end of it. Come on, bad girl. I don't want her to run and hurt herself or get scared or freaked out or anything like that. I just want her to stop. She knows she can't go anywhere. If she moves, I'm gonna pull her tight, so then she can't move. Not always this easy. You hear me say that ah, ah, and I want to and I have, I always pair that with an aversive, whether I am healing a dog on a lead and giving her a tug and telling her ah ah or using the collar because she's doing something that she's not supposed to be doing and saying ah 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 I pair it with that aversive so when she hears that she knows that that means that she's doing something she's not supposed to be doing so it works really well to communicate with her that way especially if she doesn't have the collar on her I can tell her ah and she's going to be like oh I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing right now so I want to continue to pair that with an aversive or just to let her know when she's doing something that is less desirable. Good. Okay. Come on, come on, good girl. Whoop. Oh. I also like to say whoop before I tell a dog whoa. When I, when I ask a dog to, to whoa, I want them to stop. I want them to stop and stand still, keep all four feet still, and I want them to stop on a dime. But it takes a little while when you say whoa for the words to get into the dog's ears, to their head, to their feet. And I don't want five steps and then stop. I want to stop right now. So when I say whoop, whoop I use as a cautionary term. So that's, that means that, hey, I'm going to whoa you or hey, pay attention. So if I say whoop and then she knows that I'm going to whoa her and I continue that from this first session throughout into her field work, then she can go on point out there and I can be 50 yards away, 60 yards away and holler whoop to let her know that I'm gonna woe you, stay there, you're fine. However, if she moves at that point, it's not the end of the world because a whoop is not a woe. A whoop is a cautionary term. So if she wants to relocate herself at that point, she's fine until I get up to her and that bird and I woe her, then that means that she needs to stay there. Good. Okay, okay, come on. Good girl, good girl. Oh, good. So she's doing really, really well with this, but I'm gonna call it good because she's still a little bit nervous and I don't wanna take her into the collar here and make her more nervous, but she's doing awesome. 
and her next session, then I'll start collar conditioning her. But we'll go ahead and get the next dog. So he's a little bit more wily. Now every time he moves, I'm gonna give him a tug to let him know that he needs to stand there. The calmer you are with a dog, the calmer your dog will be. They can feel your energy and they feed off of it. So I'm gonna try to calm him down a little bit while we're doing this. Okay. I also put my hand out as like a non-verbal sign to stop. This means don't move ever, whether you're sitting and staying with a flesh and dog or on a dog bed and you want them to stay or a wall. You see this, that means don't move. also that when I say whoa, I'm only saying it when the dog is stopped and standing there. This is just the first session. This is the first part of learning any new command is pairing the two. So I want him to associate the word whoa with him standing there. You can see this rope got under his leg here, which is not that big of a deal and I'll fix it here. But if you have a dog that keeps sitting when they're on the lead, like you're trying to do this with them and they just want to sit all the time, you can't really get them to stand back up, then you can run this rope through their legs like this. And then when you tug them, they can't sit as easily. So that's a little tip. 